Today I'll be explaining some basic principles on the design of the programming languages. From the background of using the virtual DJ application as a case study. So I know some people will say they don't like they don't they are not into DJ business. So what exactly do they have to benefit? Irrespective of whether you are a DJ or not, the idea you get here just like the one I explained on the keyboard is going to be of great use to you. So let's have a taste of what it takes. You see every key here has a function. As I'm pressing it, I'm getting different different outputs. So in programming, there is your ability to understand every state of a, of a team is very very important. That is why we refer to it as question tag. Question tag talks about what exactly is the state of a team. So let me open my application for you to see what a question tag is. It's not something strange. All of us did it in school. As long as you pass through elementary, primary, secondary school in, in your English classes, this is what you call a question. This is a sentence. And after the sentence comes the question tag. This is it from my screen. You can clearly see it's highlighted. This is a boy, right? Then, isn't he? This is a question tag. You have done this. You will now remember. Then we now have two options. Yes, he is. And no, he isn't. There is a colon in between. In programming, wherever you see it, a write-up and there is a question mark in front. It refers to as a question tag. It's asking what exactly is the state of this thing. This thing either a button on the key or whatsoever it is then the next thing that comes immediately after it is a solution that means an answer what should happen the action that should be executed if the state is not yes if the thing is not at that particular state then you should move to no this no is the next option that will take place let's take for example if this key this button i'm touching if the song is playing this is the question tag is the song playing if it is playing, I have pause it. Yes, and send as well. So this is pause. You are telling me to pause that means when the song is playing. But if it is not playing, then execute the next sentence here, which is play. I don't know if I'm making sense. Let's have a taste of what it looks like. This is I've loaded Justin Bieber's song on the console. Let me press my tab. See. You see, the song starts playing. If I press it again, the song will stop. It will pause it. If I press it again, it continues playing. No matter the number is constantly remembering the state of the key at a particular point in time. So this is another key again. This key, look at it, the caps lock. Just watch the reaction that will take place. If I press it, it starts the song from the beginning. If I press it, you'll notice it's giving me some echo 